Hey, Facebook. Hey, Instagram. Thank you so much for tuning in. want to give people a few minutes to join. So bear with me for a moment. Hope you are having a fantastic day, whether you are catching this live or on the replay. Really appreciate you tuning in. And if you are catching this on the replay, please go ahead and type replay in the comments for me. Really appreciate you tuning in. Hey, Janae, I see you on. Thank you so much for joining. So for those who are new to me or unfamiliar with me, my name is Candace Washington, also known as the Client Curator because I help entrepreneurs increase their revenue by improving their client retention. And if you, again, are watching this on the replay, please go ahead and drop replay in the comments. And so every day this month, we have been going live talking about a variety of topics related to customer experience, improving your customer experience, increasing your retention, and therefore increasing your revenue through retention. And today we are going to talk about some numbers and how your revenue is being affected by low retention. So we've been talking about a lot of things uh, that you can do to improve your customer retention, to improve your customer experience, but what it boils down to is numbers. And when you are losing clients, you are losing money period. There's really no way around that. You're losing money. And so the first thing I want to make sure to point out is that if you've lost clients or customers, there's a likelihood that they're no longer satisfied with doing business with your company and or they had a bad experience. And whatever experience that people have with your company while doing business with your company they will share that experience and statistics show that if they have a negative experience they will share that more widely than they do a positive experience so this is why it's very very critical to be in tune with what your customers customers are thinking when they're doing business with you how pleased they are with their experience when doing business with you because it really does matter so some numbers after a bad experience 22% of consumers are likely to cut their spending with a company or a business, and 19% of consumers stop their relationship with a business altogether. So 22% will decrease how much they're spending with a company or a business, and then 19% are just going to go somewhere else. So it's very, very important that you are in tune with what your clients and customers are thinking and feeling. And that is why it's very important that you get regular feedback from them on their experience. I'm a big advocate of regularly asking for feedback from your clients and customers so that if there is an issue that needs to be resolved or attended to, you can do that and course correct in real time because it's nothing worse than having someone do business with your company and then they get to the end of the transaction and everything is all done and then you find out that they were less than satisfied at some point along the way and at that point usually it's too late for you to do anything about it so always always get feedback consistently i'm not going to say just you know hit your clients and customers over the head with requests for feedback, but you want to get it consistently so that you can keep a pulse on what their experience is like and how they're feeling. Now, the other thing is that it costs more money to get new clients than it does to retain your clients. And that's because with clients that you already have, customers that you already have that are doing business with you, that have done business with you, they're already in your ecosystem. So you don't have to spend money to try and attract them to your company. They're already with your company. They're already doing business. So the money that you have and that you're spending to get new clients, you're really spending more than you have to. And this is why customer experience and customer retention is such a big thing because you really, if you invest money into your customer experience and customer retention, then you're going to be spending less money overall because really all you're doing is servicing your existing clients and customers excellently so that they continue to do business with you. That's not to say that you won't need new customers because every business needs new customers, but your bread and butter is going to come from your existing clients and customers, or at least it should come from your existing clients and customers. Now, the other statistic for this fact is that a mere 2% increase in customer retention can lower your costs by 10%. 
So if you just notch up your customer retention, you just get, say you're at 15% right now. If you just vamp that up to 17%, you go from 15% to 17% in your customer retention, then that is going to decrease your cost by 10%. So when I say it costs less to keep your existing customers than to attract new customers, that's what I'm talking about. Now, another statistic for you that'll be helpful is that increasing your customer retention rates by 5%, so just a few more percentage points, can increase your profits anywhere between 25% and 95%. Yes, that's a big range, but if you just increase your client retention percentage by five percentage points, you're gonna increase your profits by a minimum of 25%. And a 25% increase is pretty good, but it could be anywhere between 25% and 95%. So again, when I talk about customer experience and retention, this is why it's so critical because these numbers are critical to your business, to the growth of your business and the success of your business. Now, the last number I will share with you is that repeat customers. So your existing customers and your existing clients are going to spend 33% more than new customers. Just because they've already worked with your business, worked with your company, they've already, they already have tested your service or your product and been satisfied. And so if you're not catering in some way to your existing customers, you're leaving money on the table because they are 33% likely to spend, or yeah, they're, they're likely to spend 33% more than new customers. With that being said, I hope this information was helpful. Yes, it's a lot of statistics, but I just wanted to share this so that everyone begins to make the connection between customer experience, that it is a real thing. It really does affect your bottom line. So I hope these statistics were helpful and that you found some value in them. Would love to talk to you about your customer experience and your, your customer retention, I invite you to book a free discovery call with me. You can do that. I put the link in the, in the description above. We'd love to talk to you and see if our signature client curator program would be a good fit to help you and your business improve upon your customer experience so that you can increase your revenue and stop leaving money on the table. As we're going into 2020, want to be sure that we're firing on all cylinders and giving the best experience to our customers and clients as possible. And another statistic, in 2020, so in a week and a half, customer experience is going to be the key brand differentiator, more so than product or service and more so than price. The experience that people have when doing business with your company or your business is going to be the key differentiator when people are determining where to spend their dollars. So it's a real thing, you guys. Please book a free discovery call if you'd like to talk a little bit further about your specific situation so that we can see how we may be able to help. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a wonderful day. Today is day number 21, been going live every day this month. So only a few more days, we are winding down. I thank you to everyone who has been engaged. Please be sure to drop any comments or questions in the comment section and I will be sure to come back and respond to those. I see Reggie uh, commented that I need to preach the truth and I, I'm not trying to preach. So I hope I'm not coming across preachy, but I did want to share this information. So I hope that it is valuable to you. I will keep sharing information as I get it and as it is connectable or as I'm able to make connections to help you guys, because that's what we're here to do is just help everyone improve upon their experience, retain more of their clients and therefore make more money because we all like to make money. And I know a lot of us are trying to increase our income and our revenue so that we can make a greater impact for the kingdom. So please book a discovery call if you are interested. If not, that is okay too. We're going to keep on giving you valuable information and content. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful, wonderful if I can talk today, have a wonderful remainder of your day. We'll be back with another topic tomorrow. Be blessed. And as I always say, remember to treat people well. Have a good one.